uh, building communities, resilient, uh, building climate resilient communities. We have an urgent obligation to make every county in America more resilient to climate change and extreme weather. A record of more than like 2,300 Americans died out for, uh, after extreme heat exposure last year, uh, making it the top weather related killer. While as a country, we have like built back we have the built back from like 28 separate billion dollar weather climate and weather and climate disasters is not sustainable the president's infrastructure and climate laws are improving our like climate resilience and by boasting uh readiness and response including in by recruiting and retaining a more uh, wildland uh, firefighters and increasing budgets for fema are you are you going to go with the wildland firefighters like model of like California of having prisoners do that? Because that was super shitty. Um, get you on. And they're preparing us to like a better migrate the impact of extreme weather or events as well. Uh, we're taking unprecedented steps to reinforce like our nation's infrastructure building new roads bridges and ports that are less uh, vulnerable to flooding we're putting power lines on the ground so wind can like uh, bring them and down and where they catch fire there's still issues with like having the uh, power lines on the ground but that's mostly in these really disastrous like environment it uh, event like an uh, earthquake as well too but can you know we're making our like our electric grids more reliable uh, and more energy efficient, and um, so families and businesses don't lose like uh, power in critical moments. We're restoring uh, wetlands to help protect communities from like sea level rise and storm surge. Um, we we stabilize the Colorado River air, air program your river system. Which provides water for more than 40 million Americans after the worst drought in, the, in over like a thousand years. We're continuing to invest in like public safety measures like resiliency and cooling uh, centers so everyone, including the most vulnerable residents, can find refuge during extreme weather events. And, and we'll look out for like workers who often risk their lives on the jobs in extreme weather. President Biden, for example, introduced the first national heat standards to protect workers from dangerous heat uh, last year. I, I don't uh, the Colorado River is one that has been constantly drying up and has never been able to reach the like uh, Pacific Ocean Ocean because of like uh, of, like um, human involvement as well too just like basically mining the uh, river as well too for water. Um, yeah, a lot of corporations and companies are just like uh, forcing workers to work in extreme heat and something like that, and many workers are dying because of that. I mean. Uh, uh, sure, uh, uh, Biden. I'll believe it when this like happens as well too. But you were like, uh, uh, but you were you get like uh, donations from said companies as well too. Anyway, go, go on, moving. Anyway, um, keep doing on. Uh, going forward, uh, Democrats will work to the pass the bipartisan uh, disaster relief tax uh, credit. Uh, the, the disaster resilience tax credit to like uh, help low and middle income like families and small businesses invest in preparing for and easing the impact of storms, heat, floods, and other natural disasters. Again, I kind of like when concerned about the bipartisan part because I don't fucking trust. I don't trust the Democrats, but I definitely do not trust the fascists and the Republicans. Uh, so something that gets them on board, I kind of suspicious of. Uh, continue on. Trump refuses to admit that like. Climate change and any other disastrous impacts that like communities in the nationwide are real. And his allies have like promised to privatize the National Weather Services, downsize the the National Oceanic and, and Atmospheric Administration. That's what I thought. I thought that like there was like N O A A would have to do with like National Oceans and stuff like that. I just said uh, like Associates in America. Uh but no, it's the National Oceans and uh, Ast Astrospheric uh administration. That's good enough. And stop the like uh, office of oceanic and and um, and the astrophysic research from conducting, in uh climate change climate research, making it much harder to predict when extreme weather is coming. The response uh, and or re respond or help communities recover. Conservation.